All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and I'm here in the old library clock tower where the clock has been merrily ticking away for a good hundred years or so. And I'm here to talk about the Espresso 2.0 book machine. And that might seem as an odd juxtaposition. After all, the Espresso 2.0 might be seen by some traditionalists as competing with the library. After all, what's a library but a place to, to serve as a repository for books to bring in people to build a community around books and around literature. Yet the mission of the library is changing rapidly. Uh, you, you don't go into a library these days and not see a prominent rack, for example, of DVD movies for takeout. And there's a tremendous focus on serving the community with, you know, bestsellers, with the latest bestsellers. And that's not exactly collection building. I, it used to be that collection building was the main job of a librarian, selecting books that would help educate and inform the community, that would provide a basis not just of some narrow interest that was driving the day, but would serve as a, the knowledge of civilization going forward for that community. And these days, librarians are more focused just on keeping the doors open. Now, this copy of Print on Demand Book Publishing, which was sent to me by Michael Marcus of Silver Sands Books was actually printed on an espresso machine and you can see you know it's a book there's it's very book like <laughs> it comes with this sticker in the front that says not for resale lightning source which means if you got one of these as a free handout at Book Expo America and you want to sell it on Amazon well either remove the sticker or the print on demand police might come and get you um, but the point is an espresso machine would be a wonderful thing for a library. They, they have a couple of uh, pilots going on. There's an espresso machine in the New York Public Libraries. I think, I think the first one they put in was in the uh, Alexandria Library in Egypt, you know, sort of sim symbolic. But if you could have patrons coming in and get access to all of the books in Lightning Source, which they're currently setting up to do, and if um, Espresso, if on-demand books ever signs an agreement with Google and comes up with a way to format the millions of books that Google has scanned from libraries to make them available to any library, any place really, that has an Espresso 2.0 machine, that's really an expansion of the access to knowledge and to books that people will have. Um, the Espresso 2.0 machine really is revolutionary in the sense that you know, you can print a book fast, fine. Printing a book in five minutes isn't really the challenge, even though they can do it. It was having access to the remote catalog. And as long as they can work out a business model by which they can get these machines out to people and earn enough money back to make it worthwhile building these machines, which are pretty expensive, um, by the commission they would earn, by the royalty they would earn on the books downloaded from their library, I think it could be a very good match for libraries and, and many other business models like I'm writing about in my blog post today. So I think that there's really a great deal of potential for this machine as long as the business model can make sense, as long as they can get them out there cheap enough, make them widely available enough to start changing things. So I'm Morris Rosenthal from Phoner Books, and if you gave me an espresso machine in five minutes, I'd give you the world.